In a previous checkpoint, we have discussed that the force on a charged particle by another only depends on the distance between the two objects, and always points along the line connecting the two particles. Also, using the definition of the electric field, which is F over Q, we know that the magnitude of the field is given by this equation, which is simply the force equation from Coulomb's law divided by Q1. We can now draw the electric field from a point charge. Since a positive charge will repel another positive charge, the direction of the field is defined to be the direction of the force on a positive charge. Um, the electric field of a positive charge always points radially outwards. Similarly, the electric field of a negative charge points radially inwards. Graphically, we can represent a vector with an arrow, where its length is proportional to its magnitude. Therefore, the length of the arrows will decrease proportionally to 1 over r squared. Alternatively, we can choose not to represent the length of the arrows, but join up the lines to better visualize the shape of the electric field. Like this, we simply draw the electric field of a point charge as radial lines from the charge. It so happens, the electric field strength at a point is proportional to how close the field lines are in a unit area. This is the reason why it's sometimes said that the strength of an electric field is represented by the density of the field lines.